Hi guys. Okay, so it is, oh my god, that lighting on my nose accentuating the Pakistani nose higher. I'm currently parked up because I am going to get my ears pierced. First of all, the stress of like driving somewhere that you've never driven to and being like, am I gonna get parking there? Like that was, I was more stressed about that than about the actual piercing. And now that I'm here, I'm like, oh my God, I'm about to get my ears pierced. I've been here before, but Rizwan drove me. This was the first time I drove myself. And when he's driving, like he's a pure pro and I'm not. I'm a pro, but not when it comes to parking, um, especially like on-street parking, but I found somewhere, thank God. I'm gonna go, but I thought I would like check in with you guys and um, introduce the vlog. <laughs> I'm like so stressed out right now. Hi, welcome to another week with me um, where, you know, we're all over the joint. I currently have two piercings on this ear, low piercings, and I've got three low piercings and one at the top on this ear. That's my piercings to date, and I don't know what I'm getting today. We're just going to scope it out. This place is so good. I really like it. I got my third low piercing from here, and she was insane. Like, first of all, it's so clean. Secondly, she whipped out a ruler, a whole ass ruler, and measured the space between my first and second piercing, and then measured the space between the second and third to make sure that, like, it looked nice. Whereas when I went to go get my second piercings done and for people who like are pros at piercing, please don't judge me but the guy just fucking shot his gun and just, you know, hope for the best. So yeah, I'm excited to see what we're going to get done today. We're going to go and get my ears pierced. God, I'm like pure nervous now. Ugh. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it, but I'm obsessed. These are my new piercings. I've got one up here and then one in between like the two that I already had. I don't want to touch them too much. And then this is what I had on my other ear. So I just feel like it looks really like balanced out now. I had, like you can kind of see it's kind of gross, but I had a piercing up there before and it just kept getting infected. And then one day, on my way to work, I was in the car with my granddad and it literally just like burst and there was trigger warning, blood everywhere. Um, if you're in the Aberdeen area and you're looking to get your ears pierced or your child's wanting to get their ear pierced, I would 100% recommend Piercings by Beth. I'll tag her down below, I'll put her page here. She's amazing, she's so funny, she was really really professional, like picked out pieces that she thought would like look nice in my ear. Quite a bit of pain but so worth it. See when you see like what they've done to your ear after you're like this was one Hyundai worth it but yeah I'm excited. It's what day is it? It's Friday and we are actually going out for dinner in the first time in like so so long. We've actually not been out for dinner since we moved in because we've just like preferred cooking and things in the house. We're also going to go to the shops because basically we're doing a gallery wall in our kitchen and I really want different tones of gold and brown as the frames and then the photos are going to be tones of gold and like blue within the actual photo because our kitchen's like a bluey colour so to again tie in the whole like blue kind of vibe in our house like that's that's the plan anyways for now. I'm going to go to TK Maxx and then we're also going to go to HomeSense as well and then we're going to go for dinner. I think our plan is potentially handmade burger. Also, um, I got my brows done yesterday, which is why they look a bit crazy. Well, they look a bit crazier when I've not got makeup on, but I thought I'd put on some makeup um, just to kind of like balance it out because my brows were looking like a little bit too much. Um, I've barely put any product in them at all. Like they've just got a little bit of gimme brow and the tiniest bit of pencil just to kind of like make sure that they're both even. Got my brows done from Ashley at Vanity Studios who is absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, if you're in the Aberdeen area, I'd 100% recommend Ashley if you want to get your brows laminated or tinted or like HD brows. She does such an insane job. But um, yeah, we're just going to head out now for a little bit and then... We're Rizwana now this week, I think we're going to try to plan that gallery wall, so hopefully if things go well, I'll show you guys. Rizwana's picked these two pieces up and it's kind of like exploring the world. <laughs> and this is for the sideboard that's coming for downstairs, so we're, I think we're thinking like little gold pieces on that because that's going to be black. And then I'm just looking at frames, I'm thinking more like a wooden vibe, so 
something like this but a little bit thinner because basically loads of the ones that we've got are already gold frames so I kind of want more of a wooden frame oh that's nice even though it's gold and not wood but I really like that that one's quite nice as well this one so we've got the goods Ms Ali thinks he's the Ballon d'Or winner for this look at how chuffed he is with himself you know what, is laughing at that. So I went for a bunless chicken burger, got some fries, got some halloumi, which we've already dug into. Wes has got a wee burger as well, and then Ms. Wan's got a chilli chicken burger. I look very pale, I'm sat in front of a window right now. But, um, basically we, so yesterday we did some shopping and stuff and got a few bits for our gallery wall. We're just heading out right now to this really exciting Korean like grocery store. Um, Rizwan is making spicy barbecue chicken thighs like in the air fryer tonight which is nice. And then tomorrow I'm making a roast dinner for, um, for dinner. <laughs> roast dinner and stuff tomorrow so we're just heading out to go get a few bits for that I'm making like mac and cheese with it roast potatoes I think I'm gonna make like garlicky kind of rosemary roast potatoes and um I'm not doing like a proper roast like I'm doing more like chicken legs because I just feel like a whole chicken like it gets really really dry whereas like a chicken leg or chicken legs stay nice and juicy I don't know if I'm gonna bake anything for dessert I might just cheat and get something from the shops but my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law are coming over tomorrow for dinner i just thought it'd be nice to like do like an actual nice dinner for them i thought i would show you guys what we got so for his man's barbecue thighs he needed this um red pepper paste so we picked up some of this and um, i've seen quite a few recipes use this, so i'm excited to try like other recipes using this got some sushi seasoning for our rice got this chili oil there's a few recipes that i've tried that uses like authentic korean chili oil and because i couldn't find any like where we used to stay before i thought i'd pick some of that up i got some of these which i think are like chocolate brownie flavored pretzel sticks which i'm really excited to try and then i picked up these for a west because i thought they looked really really cute and when he saw the packaging he was like give me one right now our big purchase of the day was a rice cooker because this one follows this guy on tiktok he follows this guy on tiktok who makes like insane dishes he always has like rice out of a rice cooker and he puts it in this plate with a paddle so this one literally researched where he could get a rice cooker that had a paddle so he could copy his favorite person picked this up from argos it was only for 15 pounds which is so decent and i think it's oh it's 1.5 liters which is like the perfect amount for us. This van has just started cooking food, but I thought I would give you guys a trigger warning in case you're weird about raw meat. Half a kilo of chicken thighs. There's the Korean red pepper paste. Mm -hmm. There was... Ginger. Garlic and ginger. Chili flakes. Sesame oil. And what else? Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Bring onions also to go in there. This is the chicken thighs. So leave them for 15 to 20 minutes to marinate first and then we're going to bung them in the air fryer. In the air fryer for 20 minutes and then turn them every 5 minutes. While Rizwan's chicken is marinating, I thought I would start marinating the chicken for the dinner tomorrow. I'm going to put that in. I'm going to put this in. I'll be if I What happens to good old fashioned using your hands? Look. Cause all the pits have just gone in. Get out of the way. Stop trying to salvage yourself. my chicken for tomorrow all marinated. I'm going to now cling film this and put it in the fridge. I'm not cooking it till around this time tomorrow so it's got a good 24 hours to really just like soak up all the spices and things that I've put through it. We're just going to make dinner in a little bit and then give a Wes a bath, pop him to sleep. Here is our dinner. This looks so good. There's a Wes's little plate. Yeah, I'm excited to try this. So it's Sunday and today we're doing like a nice wee Sunday dinner. I was thinking I might make some banana bread muffins. I'm just gonna use my banana bread recipe, which I've got linked on my Cravings by Zara page, which I'll um, link down below. Um, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna use that and put some white chocolate chips in it and then just put it into like muffin 
um, tins or like muffin trays. Van's kindly cut the potatoes for me. It was so sweet of him and he's like put out all the dishes so I can like just start cooking and I'm like, oh, man, I don't deserve you. Nana bread muffins are done. Um, some of them quite questionable, but <laughs> I think majority of them are fine. So I'll just take like these kind of odd looking ones out and then I'll serve the rest. And I think I'm gonna just like warm them up a little bit before I serve them and I'm gonna give them with Custard. I've currently got the mac and cheese sauce going. I'm waiting for it to thicken, which is why I'm like pure stirring it like crazy. Um, so I'm making like a roux. This is the Wes's fish toy. Sauce. And then I've got potatoes on boil, and then I'm gonna pop these in the oven um, to get crispy. I'm waiting for that pan to get free so I can boil the pasta. And I've got another pan, but it's huge, and I don't really want to get it out. Chicken is gonna go in at in like 45 minutes, so by then I should have this done. The potatoes will go in at the same time as the chicken. The veg is going to go in the air fryer because it's just easier chucking it in the air fryer. And Wes is not sleeping, his dad's raging. Makeup's literally melting off as I stir with this heat in my face. why these lines are happening but just wanted to show you guys our huge mirror it's not a standing mirror because we figured that with a Wes it would just make more sense to have one that hangs because he just likes to touch everything I love it so much like it, I feel like it's just perfect for the space that we have and we also may or may not have a sofa these <laughs> Our, our new sofas, I love them so much. That's a door weight, by the way, which is why it's just like sitting in the middle of the room. They've got studs here, which I love. The pillows came with, I was not expecting the green pillow to be there yesterday, but it also turned up with the sofa. Right now, the cushions look really, really puffy, but over time, obviously, like, they'll become a bit more relaxed. But yeah, I really like these pillows. I'm thinking about getting some green, um, kind of like tartan pillows to go behind it that are a little bit bigger. I saw ones online on Dunham, but I think we're gonna go in store and see if we can find anything different. We were actually expecting these sofas towards the end of February and then, not yesterday, but the day before, I got a random phone call. The delivery company saying, oh yeah, we've got your sofas, so do you want them tomorrow? And I was like, um, yes, please. I just want to like touch base with you guys. This week has again, <sighs> I just need to edit it to see what it's like. Just been like sorting through little bits through the house. We're just waiting for things to arrive. Yesterday we went to Costco. We obviously had that dinner on Sunday. I didn't film Monday because I was just going through like a weird day. Just wanted to like kind of deal with that. The rest of the week tomorrow I've got another dentist appointment. And um, it's more for my teeth whitening. And then Rizwan's going to Edinburgh for the night because he's got some work stuff on in Edinburgh. So me and I will probably be home just chilling by ourselves. Um, I'll probably be cooking dinner tonight. I'm thinking about making the Emily and Mariko salmon bowl. So that would be really, really nice. Um, we've made it once before and I West really liked it. So we're going to make that. But yeah, I just wanted to check in. I wanted to show you guys the mirror, the sofas. And yeah, um, I'll let you guys know what else we get up to. So I'm just making some dinner right now and I thought I would show you guys what I'm making. If you hear a noise, it is my child who, I swear, see when I get the camera out, he knows I've got the camera out. I'm making an Emily Mariko salmon bowl inspired vibe tonight. I've got the rice in the rice cooker. I've got my salmon cubed in here. I've taken the skin off. First, I'm going to go in with this chili oil that I got from the Asian store. I'm just going to add like two about two teaspoons of this. I'm literally eyeballing this. Next, I'm gonna go in with some soy sauce and um, probably a good couple of tablespoons of this into the salmon. Next, I'm gonna use some smoked paprika, a little bit of black pepper, some garlic powder, some onion powder. You could also use like fresh garlic instead of garlic powder or garlic paste. Um, I just prefer using the powder, it's just easier for me. Mix all this together. I hate being that person that's like, oh, I've just eyeballed like all the spices but I'm sorry. It's literally like personal preference as well like if you like stuff a little bit more garlicky, if you like stuff a little bit more peppery, like it's up to you um, how much you want to put in. You're literally going to cook this now in a pan um, for like a few minutes on each side until like every single side is golden. Funny how I've literally got a sofa but I prefer sitting on the floor. 
I'm wearing my wee stitch t-shirt. I love it so much. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my vlog. Um, I kind of cut off at a weird point. We had dinner and then went to bed kind of early because Rizwan had to go to Edinburgh the next day. I wanted to say thank you so much for watching my vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a bit more cooking orientated this week, um, which I don't mind. I love cooking. I love baking. I love all of those things. If you guys want any recipes to anything that I've made in the vlog this week, please let me know and I'll actually like film a proper video instead of like a haphazard kind of one where my child is doing crazy things in the background and just like banging his toys everywhere um, and I'll film it in a bit more of like a relaxed way. And yeah, I'll see you guys very very soon. Bye!